Okay, so for question 12, uh, so this is a simple potentiometer where your PQ has length uh, 100 centimeters. So that is PQ 1 meter and then resistance of 2.4 ohm. The galvanometer shows no deflection when the jockey is it is at X, 60 centimeter from P. So that is the balance link. Okay. Um, point six meter lah. Okay, so sekarang ni kita perlu neglect the internal resistance of the two volt battery. Calculate the EMF of battery B. So sekarang ni kita perlu cari EMF of B. So what we can do is, first we have to find the uh, voltage across PQ. Sebab dia tidak akan equal to the EMF here. Okay, so I'm gonna label this as EMF A lah. Okay, so Kenapa dia tidak equal? Sebab sekarang ni ada the present of the uh, the resistor di sini lah. So, dia tidak akan equal. So, macam mana kita mau buat tu? Kita akan buat uh, idea macam yang kita buat tadi. Atau kamu boleh buat guna potential divider lah. So, kalau kamu ingat potential divider is the ratio between voltage and resistor lah. The resistance. So, what we can do is uh, first I'm gonna let you know we gan we are gonna state that the voltage across x x lagi pq is not gonna be equal to emf a so kita akan cari what is the value of pq so macam kita mau cari tu kita akan guna potential divider which is equal to um rpq over the effective resistance which is rpq plus the r and then times dengan the supply voltage which is EMF A. Okay. So sekarang ni, we are going to get this is 2.4 over 2.4 plus 1.5. Okay. So this is 2 volt. So you will get the voltage across PQ to be equal to. Um, so this is going to be in fraction 16 over 13 volt. Okay, so lepas dapat the voltage, we know that the EMF across B will be equal to the voltage across Px, ah, where this is the balance uh, when it is at balance length. Lah. So this is going to be the ratio of voltage over PQ equal to LPx over LP. Q. So sekarang ni kita mau cari EMF B which is VPX lah. Kita mau cari yang ini. So susun lah. Jadi LPX, LPQ darab dengan VPQ. So sekarang ni adalah 60 over 100 darab VPQ which is 16 over 13. The one that we've calculated earlier. So you will get 0 0.74 volt. Which is the EMF of cell B. Alright, so that is basically how you solve for the question yang perlu cari EMF of, uh, the EMF of an unknown cell lah. Okay? Okay, next we, the galvanometer and battery B are replaced by a voltmeter of internal resistance 20 ohm. Okay, so sekarang ni... Uh, okay, so basically, the drawing, the circuit becomes, this is the voltmeter, and then this is the wire, so the jockey is somewhere here lah. Macam ni lah. Okay, boleh lah tu, begitu lah. Lepas tu, kita ada the cell, and then the resistor. Okay, so ni kita punya circuit yang baru. So, this is basically macam potential divider ba ni? Dia jadi macam potential divider. Those previous questions that we did tu. So, ini 1.5 ohm. And then this one is 2 volt. Okay, so this is X. So, sekarang ni kita perlu cari apa? Kita perlu cari uh, the reading of the voltmeter if the jockey is maintained at X. Okay, so sekarang kita kena cari the value of 
uh, volt meter across across px ni lah vp x so kita kena cari vp x so macam ni kita perlu buat tu first uh, this is a potential divider punya types of question so vp x is basically equal to r p x over uh, r p x over the RPX plus RPQ plus dengan the external resistor. Okay, so dia jadi macam ni lah. Darab dengan the supply voltage which is 2 volt. Um, what should I label this? I'm just gonna label it as EMFA juga lah. Tadi kita guna EMFA kan? Ya. Yeah. There's still EMFA. Okay, so sekarang ni kita perlu cari nilai VPX guna potential divider. So, ini adalah... Equation of potential divider kita. So, apa yang kita kurang? Kita tiada RPX dengan RPQ. Nilai R kita sudah ada, which is 1.5 ohm. We just have to find RPX dengan RPQ. So, how do we do that? Is we are going to use the potentiometer punya... Eh? Yeah, potentiometer punya formula, which is ratio to length. We have V, R, and L. So, we are going to use this equation here lah. So, this is RPX over the whole length, which is RPQ, equal to LPX over LPQ. So, what is the value of RPX? It is going to be LPX over length of PQ times with RPQ. Okay, so what is the length of PX just now, which is 60 over 100? The resistance of the wire is given as 2.4. Which is, which is then 36 over 25 ohm. Okay. So. Kita sudah jumpa RPX. Sekarang kita akan guna. Kita akan cari RPQ pula. So RPQ tu pula. Eh RPQ. Oh silap lah. Bukan RPQ guys. Sorry. RXQ sudah. Kan, kan kalau potential divider satu ni. Resistor, lepas tu ada satu lagi resistor. Dia bukan potentiometer sekarang. Dia bukan the whole link. Kita akan perlu cari satu di sini, satu di sini. Okay, so RXQ lah kita cari. So, what is the value of RXQ? RXQ over RPQ equal to LXQ over LPQ. Okay, so sekarang RXQ equal to Ling of XQ, ling of PQ times with RPQ. Okay. So, sekarang ni apa nilai LXQ? We know this is 60 cm. The whole length is 100 cm. So, 100 minus 60, this is 40 lah. So, the ling of XQ is 40 divided by 100 times with RPQ which is 2.4. So, dapatlah the resistance of XQ to be equal to 24 over 25 ohm. So, dari sini kamu just perlu substitute into this equation here. So, this is 36 over 25 divided by 36 over 25 plus 24 over 25 plus 1.5 times with EMF of A which is 2 volt. So, you will then get the voltage across sorry, the voltage across px which is the reading of this voltmeter here to be equal to 0.71 volt lah. Aduh, 0.71 volt all right so that is how you apply both potential meter and potential divider in a question so this is the solution for ex eh, for question number 12.